Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for how do I create a new new level template? A new level template is when you go file new level and it asks you to pick a new level from an existing template. In this case, we can click VR Basic and we have a little VR Basic map ready to go. It's all set up however we designed it. In this case, I want to create a new template. I'm going to open up my, my blank map here that matches this. This is the way I want it to work when I do a new level, a new map, because it's set up the way I want it. And I don't want to keep recreating this map or copy and pasting between projects. When you create a new level template, it creates it inside of the engine. And that way, anytime you're using that engine, you have access to this new template. So let's go ahead and look at how we're going to do that. So you need two things. You're going to need a thumbnail and we're going to need a map. In this case, I have a map that I've created and set up the way I want it and saved it. If you have built out any data for your map, we're going to want to go ahead and get rid of it. So in this case, I'm building out the data and I'm going to save it so we can see that. When I save it, we get a built data file. This contains things like navigation and lighting and stuff like that. However, it hard links it to the folder structure for where this map is. And we're going to cause an issue if we use it as a template. So just go ahead and get rid of it, force delete it, and resave your map so your map does not have any build data associated with it. Second thing is we're going to need a thumbnail. If we go in our thumbnails folder that I created and open this up, this is really simple. It's a 200 by 200 pixel image using user interface 2D as the compression settings. Now you can bring that in from somewhere else if you want to make it fancy, or you can make it really quick and dirty inside the editor. So in this case, for example, we're looking around. I want it to look like this. I'm going to hit G to go to game mode to hide my gizmos. I'm going to print screen. So I take a copy of it and open up Microsoft Paint. I've got it set up to be file properties. One pixel is my default. So when I paste, it'll expand my image to whatever size I pasted. Grab whatever you want to be for your image. Copy it. Go to File New. Don't save. Paste. It's going to paste just what you wanted for your screenshot. We're going to resize this, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and go to pixels so we can actually make this 200 by 200. Hit OK. It's going to resize it. Go ahead and copy it again. New. Don't save. And paste. Now we have a 200 by 200 image that we could go ahead and save. Save it however you want. In this case, you know, I'm going to go with thumb three this time since I've saved a couple different ones. We have an image we could now import. So if you want to, you could use your file import, or you could drag and drop that image in, and it's going to become a texture. Once it's in here, open it up, change it over to user interface 2D, and save it, and now we have a thumbnail ready to go. And that's what it's going to look like inside of our file new level. Okay, we're good to go. Now we need to get this inside of our engine. Go back to my map, right-click my map, and show an explorer. Here we go. File explorer has my map and my thumbnail folder ready to go. We need to navigate to our engine, our templates folder in our engine. So here's my Epic Games folder where I install all my engines. I'm going to install it inside of Unreal Engine 4.22 because, again, these templates are specific to the engine, not the project or everything as a whole. Go to Engine. Go to Content. Find Maps. Here's our default blank map. And then we go into Templates, and we now have our template maps. Really simple grab what we want, our thumbnails folder with our thumbnail and our map, copy that, paste it, and since I use this structure, it's going to map correctly to here. You don't have to, and I'll show you where you can change that in a second, but if you do it like this, it keeps things organized. But now we have our my blank file ready to go, and we have our thumbnail all ready to go. Now that it's physically there, we need to tell the engine that we have it. So let's go back to our Unreal Engine folder here. Let's go into Engine, Config, and you want the base engine.ini file. Open it up in Notepad or any other code editor. It's just a text file. And we're going to now find where our templates are. Personally, this is the easiest way I've done it. Copy your template underscore default because this is one of your templates. And then find where it's at inside of here. So paste it, go down. And the first thing it's going to find is our script. Unreal Ed. Unreal Engine folder, folder, uh, category, and then you'll find the template map infos, and this is what we're looking for. 
you notice we have two entries here, one for our default template and one for our VR Basic, which matches our new level dialog. Let's copy one of these entries. I'm going to copy the first one. And then you paste it wherever you want it. So this order here, template default, VR basic, is going to match what you see when you do a new level. Default, basic. After your templates, the empty level is going to show up no matter what. So if we had 10 of these, they're all going to be in order, and then empty level at the end. So in this case, I want it to show up first. So I'm going to just go ahead and paste it as our first entry. Now we need it to match up. So let's find our map itself. So this is our map. We called it my blank. So I'm going to rename it and copy. So we have it my underscore blank. And then we're going to paste it inside of our notepad file exactly how it's supposed to be. So our first part is our thumbnail texture. It tells us where our thumbnail texture is at and the name of our thumbnail texture. Thumbnail textures are kind of weird because it's the name, dot, and the name again. So you have to make sure you replace both of them. So my blank, dot, my blank. That's where my thumbnail's at. And I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have to be in the thumbnail folder. You can just change this to match. But if you keep it like this, then it makes copy pasting this part really simple. Next part is the name of the map. So engine, maps, templates, and then the template name. We'll paste that in there. Now you can see it's templates slash my blank. There is no dot after this, so we don't have to end it with another my blank. We'll save this. So file save, and we'll close. Now our engine knows about the file and our template and where we want it and how we want it. So let's go ahead and we're going to close down our project here. And we're going to reopen our engine. So that was version 4.22. And to show you that it's completely different, we'll open up something else. So here is a, another file, FPS 4.22. It is not our template example. It's not our example file. It's not where we took our original file from. So it's got nothing to do with it. And you'll notice it's completely different, and we don't have that actual map inside of here. But since it's Unreal Engine 4.22, we can go to File, New Level, and our new map will show up. Our thumbnail shows up, our name shows up, and when we click on it, we have it set up exactly like we want it, ready to go inside of our engine. So that is it. That is the basics of how you would put a new level template into the engine. So you need a map file and a thumbnail file. They need to go into the correct folder inside of the engine. Remember, engine, content. So engine, content, maps, templates. Make sure they go in here. It makes it easier. They could go anywhere else, but you probably want to put them in here, including the thumbnail. Make sure you edit the engine config base engine file with the correct information, and then restart your engine. And then at that point in time, any project that uses that engine will have access to the new level template.